into today's video. Um, today I am unboxing some Happy Meal that I'm so excited about. Let me take it out here. Um, this is from Scrapbook Nerd and this is for Design Team Projects. I ordered some things and I think she added some other things in. So I'm really excited to see what she's included and I kind of forget what I ordered. So I can't wait to see what these, what these products look like. And I will just preface this by saying I think my haul is coming is being uploaded after I've made videos like projects so I probably have already made projects with the supplies but it's fine oh my goodness this collection is so cute okay so we have pink fresh studio spring vibes collection firstly she included some um, adhesive which is amazing because I could always use some I go through it fast okay Let's go through the 12 by 12 paper pack. Um, like I said, Pink Fresh Studio Spring Vibes collection. And we have their 12 by 12 papers. Does it say how many's in here? I don't see where it says that, but we'll find out. Okay, let's open this up and see the papers inside the paper pack. We have this one. Let's see, do they have names? This one is Look for Love. This one is See the Good. This one is Take Your Time. This one is Soak It Up. We have Cherish This. Moments of Joy. Oh, this is really pretty. Oh, it's a cut apart Make Memories. That's fun. That'll make a fun tag flip or something. We have, ooh, this will be a really fun scrapbook background. Perfect day. Daydreams. Wildflower. Almost at the end here. Sunny days. And daisies. So let's count how many papers we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 papers in that uh, paper pack. So those are all double-sided, really good quality papers. So put that there. Actually, I'll move this to the side so there's no glare. Okay, next up, we will do these, which she included, which is these little like wooden chipboard, chipboard pieces. Okay, let's can we open this up and see, get a closer look inside. And this is the brand. And I think these will match really well with this collection because it's very much spring vibes. Oh yeah, so it's like thin chipboard pieces. You could probably paint them um, and we have lots of different shapes. So that's exciting. Looking forward to testing those out. So you, it's as easy to customize with inks and stamps. That's awesome. Okay, cool. So there's that. I will do the non-collection things first. Okay, we have, ooh, we have a die here. Nesting die set stitched pennants. That'll be fun to play with. So you can um, look for layering guides and tutorials at their website, Prism Studio. Cool, love that, love a new die. Ooh, we have the parasol embellishment. So we have the chipboard, not chipboard, like the wooden brads. We have the buttons and then we have different, um, <coughs> excuse me, like ribbons and things. Awesome, love that, we'll totally use that. We also have some enamel dots. I think she ran out of the enamel dots that went with the collection, if I'm not mistaken. I had something refunded. I can't remember what it was though, so it could have been this, but I love enamel dots. These match perfectly with this collection, so. Can't wait to use those. Oh, and this too. This is Simple Stories um, foam stickers from Wildflower. Love these. And these will, the yellow and all that goes really nice with this collection. Um, I think I do already have this collection. I don't know if I have this though. And I really like this collection. I think it's really pretty. Okay, we have some letter stickers. So we have this one. That is silver. It's from the Spring Vibes collection. 
So it has numbers at the bottom. So yeah, it's like this silver. And then this one is so pretty. They're itty bitty ones, which is great for like Project Life and different things like that. And we have these warm tone letters and then the cool tone letters. So love that. We have, um, these are the puffy stickers. Oh my goodness, look how pretty this collection is. It's even prettier in person, for real. 27 pieces. Uh, let's do the stickers here. Just show you a close up of all the stickers. We got lots of labels, letter stickers, all things that are very usable for me personally. We have these wood accents. There's 10 in there. These are really cool. Um, fun little wooden accents for like a grid layout or something like that. Okay. And then we have three different kind of like ephemera packs. This is the journaling bits. And we have these large, more like banners. We have a label. We have some tags. We have some other layering bits here. We have a pocket, another pocket. This is like a double-sided ephemera piece, kind of. We have a large tag, a large pocket, an even larger pocket, and this little um, yeah, pocket kind of thing. It's really pretty. So that's what's in that one. Really fun, like more textured pieces rather than like flat paper embellishments. These kind of have a little something to them, a little bit different than the regular ephemera. So that is the journaling bits and there's 14 pieces in that. Next up, we will look at the ephemera. There are 42 pieces in this ephemera pack. So we've got, ooh, I'm excited. These look really pretty. Um, so we have some floral bits. We have some word stickers. Remember this moment. Um, some kind of like layering pieces. Lovely day. I'll just kind of lay them out here so you can see. We have this itty bitty mini tag. Some labels. More words. These are much smaller embellishments, which is great to kind of have the difference of like the larger pieces here and then the smaller ones here. So if you want to get either of these or yeah, either if you want to get this collection, you can kind of decide if you're on a budget, um, which one would be more suitable for your type of crafting. If you would prefer the larger embellishments, kind of interactive embellishments like that, or if you want the smaller ones like this. So hopefully this gives you a little bit of an idea. Soak in the spring. So pretty, love those so much. And then last but not least, we have the floral embellishments. I won't go into every single piece, I'll just kind of lay them out so you get an idea, but these are so pretty. I love when collections come with floral packs because I think they're just something you can use on almost any page. No matter the person, the picture, the project, <laughs> I think you can really use them on any kind of page. So we have some that are larger like this, and then we have some smaller ones. We have some leaves, some that are just flowers, some that are more like outlines like that, and some are more detailed. So that's what that looks like. This is such a pretty collection and a fun kit that I am going to be working with um, the next couple of um, months probably. So you can catch all the projects I make with this. And then at the end of this series, I'm going to post a video of, um, all the projects I made with this collection and what I used up and all that kind of stuff. So we have a lot of products here. I'm not going to add anything in. The last time I did this series, I added some things for my stash in, but this is a lot of stuff. So I think this will be just fine. Sorry, my camera cut off. I was just saying I'm excited to play with this collection and I'm excited to share the projects I'm going to make. So be sure to subscribe and um, don't miss all the projects that'll come. And um, I probably have done a few already because the series is a little bit out of order, but hopefully it'll all make sense. And uh, yeah, if you want to shop these products, I'll leave a link down below for Scrapbook Nerd. And that's it. Uh, thank you all so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.